is an acronym. It stands for Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology, founded by Dean Kamen and Woody Flowers. Their goal was to inspire youth to be uh, engineers and scientists of the future. They wanted to make engineering and science ex exciting for youth. Well, each year we start in September. Uh, we start by learning some new skills. We start with some very basic things like uh, measurement and uh, hand tool uh, usage. We talk about design, we talk about uh, 3D uh, modeling. Uh, from there, uh, you know, after December, the uh, first season hits and it's all hands on deck and we're uh, designing and formulating a plan for the first season. Every year when we come together to take the design of the robot, well, we start out by going to a kickoff on the start of the new year, learn about the game, get all hyped up about that. And then usually we spend the day here discussing what the best strategy to go about things is. We get the entire design team into one room, mentors, team leaders, students included. Then we get a couple key people from programming, so the programming team leader, fabrication team leader, and basically we go out and just shoot ideas out into the board. We say, what's the basic design going to be based on the strategy we give? And then we start to make a priority list on what kind of things we want our robot to do from greatest to least, and then we pick the ones that we like the best, and then we start to think of um, mechanisms and how we could achieve that. And once we've got a pretty good general idea on how we're going to do things, we leave it up to the design team to really give us a final say on what we're going to do. A lot of the students latch on to uh, SolidWorks and the 3D modeling technology, and they just run with it. Uh, it becomes almost like a video game to them. They find such great satisfaction in seeing their parts in three dimensions come together in assembly that they can uh, manipulate and look at. Protocase provides fabrication expertise. Uh, many of the students are well versed in SOLIDWORKS and able to draw almost anything in three dimensions. Uh, they allow students uh, design flexibility that uh, we don't have here at the school. So basically when we didn't use Protocase back in 2011 to 2012, which was the uh, Rebound Rumble, our robot was kind of much more simpl simplistic and we had to tone down what our aspirations were to be or else we were going to fall short of what our actual expectations were and the robot wouldn't perform as well. Everything was limited to as the tools we had here or the sponsors we could get in the immediate area if they had time for us. So with Protocase coming in and giving us uh, CNC'd cut parts, that anything we can imagine, that, ex that helped us just blow the lid off any possibility we could actually think of. So they really provide an opportunity for the students' designs to really come to life. I think students have this inherent passion about robotics, electronics, uh, and seeing, you know, something come to uh, come to life based on their ideas, and that makes them very passionate about what they're doing. We're able to learn skills that we can use later in life, like I'm learning programming and controls, and I can apply those a lot later, and especially with controls, that can help with engineering, electrical engineering, or basically anything, so it inspires me that I can learn anything here and use it later. But the logic that you learn, and you know you can actually do something with your knowledge. It was fun to be challenged mentally, physically, and logically to what you, you can do. On the spot problem solving, all that kind of stuff was extremely fun to think about. Seeing the people, not behind me, but the people who are younger than me, which is a weird thing to say considering I'm still young, but the people younger than me, my main goal was to try and help them just have fun and reach a level in which they can feel comfortable to talk with people, express their ideas, and on, even on top of that, create new things that people haven't created before and feel legitimately proud of their imaginative process. And I just feel that's what drives me towards first no matter what, and that's why I'll always keep coming back. <laughs>